and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Such a joy to come together once again to meditate on God's Word and pray together. This week we're talking about assurance. And we want to talk about what is the assurance that we have as God's children. Words of assurance. John chapter 20 and verse 27. Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. The disciple Thomas was not among the others when Jesus met with them on Easter day. As a result, it was very hard for him to believe that Jesus was alive. He insisted that unless I put my hands on his nail marks and my finger through his side, and see Jesus with his own eyes, he would simply not believe. A week after the resurrection, Thomas got his chance. It's remarkable how gently Jesus deals with Thomas's doubts. Rather than rebuking, Jesus entered the room with a warm greeting, saying, peace be with you. Then he assured Thomas that he was alive by inviting him to do exactly what he said he would do. Put your finger here, he said. See my sides, see my hand. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe, Jesus said. When Thomas believed, the words that came out of his mouth formed one of the most greatest confessions of faith in the entire Bible. He said to Jesus, my Lord, my God. Just as Jesus understood Thomas's doubts, he understands our doubts as well, our questions, our insecurities, our failures. But rather than admonishing us, he invites us to rediscover him in ways that reassure us. When we turn to him, he gives us exactly what we need in order to have our faith confirmed. Jesus is willingness to engage with Thomas in the midst of his doubt encourages us as believers. Today, we have all kinds of doubts. We often treat skepticism as a weakness, but it's important to remember that Jesus welcomed Thomas's skepticism and challenged his doubts with evidence of his resurrection. Thomas the Apostle is a famous symbol of doubt. We often call him the Doubting Thomas. But if we are to learn anything from him, it should be this, that our doubts should lead us to a deeper, richer faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus specifically says, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. I want to end this with this passage from Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 22. It says, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. You and I, can draw near to God with confidence and full assurance because Jesus has paid the price. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful assurance that we have. We pray, God, that no matter what happens, you will be with us. You will strengthen us, God. We may be assured of your presence in each of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.